it took actually very long for me to figure out that i love data engineering related work i love big data and i want to become a data engineer and why did it actually happen because when i was doing my mca from 2014 to 2017 that time i was someone who was actually focused on the college curriculum i was just only having a placement kind of mindset means anyhow i just want to get a job i just want to get a placement without even thinking that what are my career aspirations like i did not figure out anything i was not that kind of a student who was active in the tech communities who was active on linkedin or maybe attending workshops webinars or interacting with like minded people who can actually guide me that what are the recent trends in the industry what kind of job profiles are popular in the industry how big data is evolving i was just uh, roaming around the software engineering related thing maybe web development back end development ios android these kind of thing i did not do any development related things i was just mugging up my subjects passing my semester exams to get good grades and as a result and due to all these mistakes i actually started my career very late that means started my career very late as a data engineer and that time when i entered into the industry and started my career as a data engineer and i was just cursing myself that why did not i explore all these job profiles and tech stack by my own because if i would have done that then this could have been a different story for my career but today if you are a student or a entry level fresher or someone who has no idea about the latest trends technologies tech stack and most important about the job profiles in the data domain and the most important question how to figure out that i should go for this particular profile i should go for this particular profile and how can i map my interest then you should watch this video till the very end because i will break down each and everything profile wise so that you can make the decision very very faster and you are not late like me so we will be covering three super trending job profiles in the big data domain which is currently trending and which is going to be in more and more trend in near future those are data engineer data scientist and data analyst let me know in the comment section if you already know the roles and responsibilities of these profiles and give me your breakdown in the comment section but before starting with the main topic i have a very important announcement to make for all the aspiring data analyst starting from the student type of background to any kind of professional and importantly non tech people so if you want to become a highly skilled data analyst and want to crack your dream job in dream companies with a dream package then our data analyst noob 2.0 batch is starting from 9th of december and you still have the opportunity to enroll in this boot camp early bird coupon code and the joining link has been given in the description or you can visit www.growdataskills.com in this boot camp you will basically cover the zero to hero journey of becoming a data analyst in just 3 months and this is our completely industry oriented boot camp which will cover the industry oriented projects as well and the beautiful thing is that everything every module will be covered from basic to advanced so you don't require any prerequisite just join the boot camp learn everything in the live classes along with the live doubt support from the mentor who is actually working in the microsoft itself for the data analytics role in this new batch we have upgraded the tech stack as well and have included the data analytics on cloud which is azure so you will be well equipped with the top required skill set after covering this boot camp and don't worry we have a proper placement assistance for you also we don't do any fake promises of job guarantee because that is a scam we truly believe in upskilling and helping you in your placement journey All right let's come back to the topic and first talk about the data engineering job profile that means if you want to start with the data engineering how can you figure out that this is a job profile is actually for you and i was in the similar shoes when i was starting my career with the data engineering because i had no idea that what is the road map what are the skill sets required to become a data engineer and whether i will enjoy this job profile or not so if in a short summary i talk about the roles and responsibility of a data engineer so they are the frontliners means any company which is working on the data related products or trying to build a big data related solutions data engineers will be the one who are standing on the front door they are the one who are supposed to build a scalable and optimized data pipelines because 
at the end if you want do the data analytics and want to bring the important business insights out of it and you want to take a data driven business decisions then you have to bring different enormous type of data into the system it could be a batch data it could be a real time data like your instagram feeds and twitter feed and any type of iot device data whatever is there you first want to bring into the system and when i say that data engineers are supposed to build this type of pipeline this type of etl process don't think that their job is very simple like they can use any type of enterprise tool which gives them a feasibility to use it over the web or as a application they can use the drag and drop features make a connection and bring the data into the system no data engineering is not that simple because when it comes to create the optimized and scalable pipelines lots of technical engineering challenges will come into the picture and that is why these people has to be really good with the software engineering skill set so that they can implement it on the big data related solution and as well as they have to be good in the programming yes programming is the very important aspect to become a data engineer you cannot get away from it you have to be good in the problem solving part as well means the easy to medium part of dsa as well data structures and algorithm but not up to the software engineering level or hard or competitive programming type of thing is required to become a data engineer data engineers are supposed to know the programming sql transactional databases no sql databases different type of cloud platforms big data core understanding important batch and streaming type of frameworks like hadoop hive spark and apache flink different warehousing services like snowflake hive redshift and they should know how to collaborate with the different type of stakeholders and the internal teams to fulfill the requirements in order to create these scalable data pipelines their design and architect skills should be really good they should know how to create scalable applications by following software engineering best practices and time to time they will be getting the opportunities to own the core software engineering tasks as well like implementing something onto the back end side which can access the data layer creating the apis how to interact with them so you can see right the entire software engineering component along with the data expertise is going to be merged in the data engineering job profile so if your enthusiasm in that direction you love programming and you love all those things which i listed down and if you think that you will be enjoying it then this is the right profile for you and this is how even i figured out because i had a interest in programming and the core software engineering skills and i got the data expertise and hence i became a successful data engineer i can definitely say that now and now coming to the most talked and admired job profile sometimes people call it the hype as well and that job profile is the data scientist so if you want to become a data scientist then i will definitely talk about the summary of the roles and responsibilities how you can figure it out also i will talk about one harsh reality as well so talking about the data scientist they are the one who will be actually working on the core complexities of the data means once data is made available by the data engineers into the system the actual work of these folks starts from there where they will try to use the mathematical concepts statistical concepts the core data analytics machine learning artificial intelligence these kind of things to solve complex data mysteries so that the end product can be delivered if you are trying to build a recommendation related system that can be done by the data scientist similarly if you want to give a best user experience to your customers by minimizing their task then definitely data scientist can come into the picture by implementing the machine learning and ai related thing so that the user experience can be increased so overall if you want to become a data scientist as a fresher student entry level fresher or someone who is in a different job profile or if you belong to a non tech job profile then you have to be good on the mathematics side you have to be good in the statistics part you have to be good on the machine learning artificial intelligence and the neural network related components you have to be good on the sql and python side as well and for this job profile you are not required to cover the typical data structures and algorithm related thing because that is not being asked in the interviews but the most difficult challenge in this profile for the non tech people and for anyone who actually don't like these things means mathematics 
the statistics part the core machine learning because lots of mathematical complexities are involved that like the algebra your calculus and all those things so maybe when you start with this job profile in the beginning you might like it because you have not deep dive into the actual complexities but as soon as you go on to the advanced part of it sometimes you feel that maybe you have taken a wrong decision and that actually happens so i would highly recommend that deep dive into it even when you are exploring the road map the topics everything i have even created multiple videos deep dive into it and understand it because your interest matters a lot if you don't enjoy mathematics and all those things i mentioned for the ai and machine learning computer vision neural network all those things then that is going to be really difficult for you to survive in this job and the harsh reality i was talking about for anyone who is uh, just starting as a fresher or someone moving from the non tech job profile getting into the data science role specifically or to become a data scientist at the early stage of career is very very challenging because most of the companies required some sort of data expertise some sort of experience in the data domain from the candidates and then they actually allow them for the interviews for the data scientist role so now you might be thinking if there is no straight forward way to become a data scientist as a fresher then how can i even think about this job profile then don't worry the next job profile which i am going to talk about that will solve everything for you now the third and the last job profile which is data analyst the data analyst is a kind of job profile which i would say that this could be the most easiest entry point for anyone and especially the students and the non tech people even if you are in a sales job you were working in the operations you were preparing for the government exams you were belonging to the ba bcom type of streams any kind of thing this could be the most easiest entry point to get into the data domain right in the beginning your salaries might be little low not too much because if you are targeting good product based companies they are paying a really really good compensation for it but sometimes what people feel that when it they try to compare data analyst with the data scientist data engineer maybe the gaps of 1 lakhs 2 lakhs for the salary part they think that no data analyst profile is not worth it and that is the wrong mindset and why this is the easiest entry point because the data analysts are the one who are actually the backbone in the data ecosystem why because these are the folks who should be really good in understanding the domain knowledge if you are working in a healthcare you should know the crux of healthcare data if you are working in a banking data then you should know the crux of it how banking system works so as a person you should be really good in your domain analytical skills you should have a really good idea about the business you will be the one who will be interacting with the stakeholders and end customers directly data engineers data scientists don't get those opportunities often but you will be delivering the end product to the customers hence your skills basically the communication skills writing skills collaboration skills should be also really really good which you can even learn over the period of time not even from your day zero at the end whatever data insights have been processed in the system these guys will actually visualize them and will deliver the crisp information to the customers and the leadership in the form of the dashboard so if we talk about the skills required to become a data analyst those are also very minimal like you have to be good in the programming part the python if you know the basics of it that is good enough to get started with this job profile you have to be good on the sql side which is again not complex like programming and even no dsa type of thing is required in this job profile you have to be good in using the microsoft excel type of product where you can analyze the data you need to know the basics of statistics as well which you might have done in your school days as well those type of basic things and advanced part you can learn in your job itself and last but not the least dashboarding tool power bi or tableau these kind of popular dashboarding tool is something which will make you a complete package as a data analyst and if you want to excel more and more in this domain then you should also target the data analytics on the cloud platforms like aws gcp or azure so in this way you have become a full fledged data analyst who can get into any good top product based companies and now even as a non tech professional or non tech person you can realize the kind of skills 
which are required to become a data analyst are very minimal here the kind of effort you need to put those are also very very minimal and when you get hired by a company as a data analyst you will be really really strong in your data domain understanding if you work there for one year two year three years that is something which you need to become a data scientist right so this is the first ladder in the data hierarchy to become a data scientist take an entry point with the help of the data analyst profile work in the company for one two years acquire all those understanding meanwhile just keep on grasping the skills to become a data scientist as well and after that easily you can apply for any company who are hiring for that data scientist role or even in your current company you can take an internal switch to become a data scientist so that is the clear cut path and with all these understanding which i talked about for all these three profiles you will be able to figure out that which job profile suits you the best data engineer the data scientist or the data analyst i have talked about the skill set the roles and responsibilities and apart from that why you should actually go for it so if you are a programming enthusiast or software engineering enthusiast go for the data engineering profile if you are someone who loves the machine learning artificial intelligence mathematics statistics those type of analytics go for the data scientist kind of job profile if you are someone who loves the business who loves interacting with the stakeholders good at the data representation creating the dashboards then this is the job profile the data analyst is a job profile for you and again for all the non tech people i am highly recommending this profile for you because this is the most easiest entry point you can check many many podcasts on my channel where people from the non tech type of profiles like sales operations ba bcom have transitioned successfully into the data analyst role so that is what i had for this video i hope you would have enjoyed this entire crisp information i know video might have been little bit long but i had to put all my experience so that you can take the right decision that is important and that is why i have put all this important and required information in this video so start today start evaluating and figure out the best job profile for you based your interest then compensation your first priority should be your interest all right and again just reminding you the announcement that our data analyst boot camp is starting just from the 9th of december live classes will be starting so hurry up enroll the early bird offer and the enrollment link has been given in the description check it out or visit www.growdataskills.com and enroll in the boot camp right right now to get your dream job so i will see you guys in the next informative video really really soon meanwhile like this video so that you can help other people as well to understand that how they can figure out that which job profile is best for them and if you are new to the channel then feel free to subscribe and press the notification icon for all these type of amazing videos i will see you guys really soon till then just keep exploring data